can I please order two medium pizzas? Sorry, two party size pizzas. <laughs> yes, 50 chicken wings. Do you guys have brownies? Yes, can I have two brownies please? What else y'all have? Your medium pizza special? Okay, add that in. I don't even care. Add that in. How many people is this for? Oh, just one. Welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl Osa and I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how Valentine's Day is overrated or at least that's what some people think. According to a new survey, about 41% of women hate this holiday. In my opinion, Valentine's Day is a cute holiday where you can, you know, celebrate and the appreciation of your loved ones, shower them with appreciation and love. But I feel like Valentine's Day has become such a competition with so many people. You see on social media, someone will be like, well, what did you get for Valentine's Day? The person would say, oh, my, my man got me a rose. And then the other person would say, well, my man bought me a garden. See on Instagram, everyone's posts of what they got for Valentine's Day, what they're doing for Valentine's Day. You see the exact same thing on Snapchat, what people are doing for Valentine's Day. And I feel like it has just become a competition. And this might also put a lot of pressure on the guys, actually, now that I think about it, um, of what to get their girl. They want to make sure that whatever they get their girl is something that she's actually going to like, is something that's going to be appreciated, and something that society will say, wow. Good job, son. I think Valentine's Day is cute when you know you get them a flower, rose chocolates, and you know you go out for dinner, watch a movie, maybe you stay at home, eat a cooked meal. But I think some people overdo it, you know? Like those kind of people that fly a helicopter over the girl's house and like drop a bouquet, a garden of roses over the person's house, or you know, stuff like that. Like I feel like that is a little bit extra and a little bit much and you need to chill. Valentine's Day has also become so commercialized. It reminds me like of Christmas, you know, like literally, literally over a month before actual Valentine's Day, you see in like the dollar store, you see the Walmart, they have like, like areas dedicated to just Valentine's Day presents, flowers, teddy bears, chocolates, like they have multiple aisles dedicated to just Valentine's Day. And I feel like this is a day where, um, Companies can just make more money. If you're single like myself, Valentine's Day is kind of just like another day that just comes and goes, you know? But there are some people that take things a little too far. You have those people on Valentine's Day that are just extremely beg. That's the kind of word I like to use. They're begging. Begging. God. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm going down on Facebook and seeing somebody write like my like my status if you want to be my Valentine. Really? Really? And then you have those people that are just extremely vexed, extremely bitter, extremely upset towards Valentine's Day. And I'm just like, ah, relax. Calm down and relax your throat. Why do you need Valentine's Day when you got yourself, honey? You got food, you got pancakes. You see. I don't need no man, and I ain't begging for no man. To be honest, Valentine's Day is just another Tuesday. February the 14th, it's a Tuesday. Today ain't Valentine's Day. Today is Tuesday. Why would you want a damn flower when by tomorrow the flower is gonna be dead? Shoot, the only flower I need is to make my pancakes. Why am I wearing my jacket inside, you may ask? Well, this place is like my heart. Cold. What is Valentine's Day? Nope, nope, never heard of it. Nope, 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 
Nope. Get your damn chocolate away from me. And you get your roses away from me. Because I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I'm allergic to Valentine's Day. Relax. Huh. Huh. They don't want to see any sort of lovey-dovey anything. They're just vexed. They're salty and I, I really don't know why they're so salty. Then you have those people on Valentine's Day that wait. They literally wait for Valentine's Day before they do something special. You know, with their significant other. That is when I have a problem with Valentine's Day. When you wait for Valentine's Day to do something special and throughout the other times of the year you're not really doing anything, that itself is a problem. I do understand that on Valentine's Day, this day can actually make a lot of people feel like they're less of a person, make them feel like they're missing out on something in life, maybe make them feel like they have like sort of like an unaccomplished kind of feeling. The best advice that honestly guys is focus on loving yourself and being the best you that you can be. This doesn't mean being overly prideful about yourself, arrogant, no. Love yourself to the point where you know your self-worth and that you have self-respect for yourself. A lot of people spend Valentine's Day just so cute. I see it on my Snapchat, I see it on Instagram, on people's posts, say, oh, I have no Valentine. Who wants me my Valentine? Like. Honestly guys, love yourself. Be your own Valentine. You know, this Valentine's Day, I am my own Valentine, okay? If you ask me who's my Valentine, me. That's right, me. Know your self-worth and treat yourself. If that means going in and getting your nails done, by all means, go and get your nails done, honey, because I got mine done last night. A lot of the days I feel like girls kind of define themselves by having or by being in a relationship and that at all does not define who you are. If you think that being in a relationship defines who you are, then you have your priorities twisted. Oh no, I think Valentine's Day is a cute holiday. I think it's great. Um, as long as it's being celebrated for the right reasons and not just merely because of impressing somebody else or of competition or all about money, you know, it's not all about that. All, all in all, Valentine's Day is about love and appreciation. Not only about love for your significant other, but also love for yourself, love for your family, love for those around you, your siblings. Jesus loves you, girl. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day to those of you guys celebrating today. Um, let me know your thoughts on this video. If you agree with some of the things I said, disagree, let me know down below. And I hope you guys have a great day. Do the stanky leg. Do the, do the, do the stanky leg. Do, do, do the stanky. Mm -hmm. When your legs don't work like they used to before, and I can't sweep you off of your feet.